Lewis Hines' photography of the cruel and unusual child working conditions exposes the tragic circumstances they faced, therefore leading to changes in child labor laws. Lewis Wickles Hines was born in Oshkosh, Wisconsin on September 26, 1874. His father died in an accident in 1892 and forced Hines to help sustain his family financially. His first job was in a furniture upholstery factory. He worked 13 hours a day, 6 days a week, and earned $4 per week, experiencing first-hand child labor. After this, he became a janitor at a bank. Hines saved his money, his own money, to go to college. He studied sociology at the University of Chicago, Columbia University, and New York University. He became a teacher in New York at Ethical Cultural School. Hine would frequently take his students to Ellis Island in New York and photograph the immigrants coming in when he realized that photography could be used as a platform for social reform and change. In 1907, Lewis Hine began to work as a staff photographer at Russell Sage Foundation. He photographed steel-making districts and people of Pittsburgh for a study called the Pittsburgh Survey. In 1908, Hine became a photographer for National Child Labor Committee, NCLC, and left his teaching position. Hines' work at the NCLC was often dangerous. He got threatened by the work police and by the foreman. Child labor was supposed to be hidden from the public, and it was Lewis Hines' job to photograph the child labor. Photography of any mill or mine was dangerous, so he would have to disguise himself and take photos undercover without their knowing. He would pose as fire inspectors, postcard vendors, and even Bible salesmen. If Hein could not gain entrance, he would wait until the workers came out and he would photograph them then. Hein went to many places to photograph the children. He went to coal mines, mills, and even factories. He would photograph the harsh conditions they were in and the kids themselves. He would usually take pictures of the younger children to show the age and cruelty of the factories. If he didn't know their age, he would estimate it by measuring their height. Hein couldn't be seen ripping out a tape measure, though as being a Bible salesman. So, that's why he wore a three-piece suit. He could measure the children against the buttons on his vest. The organization that Hein worked for, Mission, was not about showing the public that child were working or used for financial gain. They already knew that. At the time, many believed they participated had sustained benefits. Youth could learn the value of hard work, and business could increase their productivity and decrease the hourly play. Parents could depend on their children to support their family, meaning the adults could work less or not at all. Lewis Hine even talked about raising the minimum wage law around the world, but mainly in New York. He believed that the people did not make enough money to even really eat, and that is why kids were working. He believed by raising the minimum wage law that the kids would not have to work in the factories. He believed that factories were not keeping up with infl inflation rates in the world, around the world, so... He either wanted minimum wage to go up or the price of goods to go down. During World War I, and even after, Hein took photos of the American Red Cross Relief Group in Europe to show human contribution to modern industry. In the 1930s, Hein was sent to take photos of the making of the Empire State Building. He would take photos of the men in weird positions, such as them being upside down and putting in beams. Louis Hein would be in a basket to the side of the construction with nothing holding up except a string that held the basket, and if he fell, nothing would catch him. During the Great Depression, Hein worked for the Red Cross again to photograph the drought relief in the south. He also documented life in the mountains in eastern Tennessee. The last years of his life was a struggle by loss of government and corruption patronage. He hoped to join the Farm Security Administration, but got rejected by Roy Steiker every time. Hein lost his house and applied for welfare. He died on November 3, 1940 at Dobbs Ferry Hospital after an operation. Hein is credited with inventing the term photo story and with popularizing a style of portrait in which the subject looks straight into the camera. The photos that are coming up all are all taken by Lewis Hine, either of child labor laws or of his help with the work on the Empire State Building construction. The girl on your screen now is Addie Card. The picture was taken in 1910. If you look closely at her left arm, it looks like it was once broken and not set back into place properly. She was working as a spinner girl after her mom died when she was two. Addie started to work when she was only eight.
The next picture you see is also of an adolescent spinner girl. Lewis Hine once said, There is work that profits children, and there is work that brings profit only to employers. The object of employing children is not to train them, but to get high profits from their work. The next picture you see is of a young man, Foreman Owens, who is 12 year old. He can't read, he doesn't know his ABCs, and says, Yes, I want to learn, but can't when I work all the time. He's been working in the mills for four years. Lewis Hine also said, If I could tell the story in words, I wouldn't need to lug around a camera. Photography can light up darkness and expose ignorance. I wanted to show the thing that had to be corrected. I wanted to show the things that had to be appreciated. While photographs may not lie, liars may photograph. This is Gills Edmund Newsom. While working in Sanders Spring Mill, a piece of the machine fell onto his foot, mashing his toe. This caused him to fall onto a spinning machine and his hand went into an unprotected gearing, crushing and tearing two fingers. He told the attorney he was only 11 years old when it happened. This is Frank P, whose legs were cut off by a motor car in a coal mine in West Virginia when he was only 14 years old. This is the kind of picture that Hein came up with or popularized, which is when the person who is getting photographed looks straight into the camera. This is six-year-old Earl Holt. He worked in Washington, D.C. selling paper in his neighborhood. When I met him, within an hour, he had forgotten that I had photographed him, but he didn't forget to- Now you can sell Lewis's hind work for up to $5,000. He is best known for his help with the child labor law pictures and picturing the Empire State Building construction. His photography of the cruel and cruel child working conditions exposed the tragic circumstances they faced, leading to the changes in the child labor laws across the world.